Now to Capitol Hill. The next phase of the impeachment inquiry begins this week. Starting Wednesday, House Democrats take their case against President Trump to the American public in open televised hearings. As Weijia Zhang reports, Republicans are preparing for a fight. She's traveling with the president in New York. Democrats are pushing back on who Republicans want to call as witnesses during open hearings in the impeachment inquiry, including Hunter Biden, the whistleblower, and anyone relied on by the whistleblower in drafting the complaint. We're not going to go back in time and revisit conspiracy theories that are implicated in the president's call. The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, warned Republicans in a letter he would not approve their request to hear from the whistleblower, writing, in light of the president's threats, the individual's appearance before us would only place their personal safety at grave risk. President Trump is demanding the whistleblower testify as he defends himself against accusations that he used military aid and a White House meeting as bargaining chips to get Ukraine to investigate political rival Joe Biden and his son Hunter, a quid pro quo. The president acted criminally and extorted in the way a mob boss would extort somebody, a, a vulnerable foreign country. It's probably best not to use Latin words to explain it. Sworn testimony from several witnesses in the impeachment inquiry suggests the president may have acted inappropriately. For his part, Mr. Trump is using familiar terms to describe the upcoming proceeding. There's never been a president who's been so transparent. This is a witch hunt at the highest level and it's so bad for our country. On Face the Nation, Republican Senator John Kennedy said he's waiting to see all the evidence before drawing a conclusion. If it can be demonstrated that the president asked for and, and had the requisite state of mind, that the president asked for an investigation of a political rival, that's over the line. And Ouija, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley revealed some explosive new details about discord in the administration to CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell. What did she say? Well, Elaine, Haley says during a closed-door meeting, former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and former Chief of Staff John Kelly asked her to join their resistance of the president because they were, quote, trying to save the country. In a statement to CBS News, Kelly says it was his job to present both pros and cons of policy changes to the president so he could make informed decisions. All right, Weijia Jiang there outside of Trump Tower in New York. Thank you.